I'm fat and I want to change that. I've been overweight for most of my life and this year in 2024, I really, really want to hold myself accountable and change my lifestyle and change my fitness and my body. So this is why I'm making this video. For the rest of the year, each week I will start making a video documenting my body transformation and I want to hold myself accountable and commit to improve my fitness and my lifestyle. So that means I have to change, I mean I have to work out every week, improve my eating and drinking habit, especially eating at late at night. And overall, I really want to have a body transformation. But I think the most important thing is I want to emphasize on the consistency and sustainability where I could do this long term because I have been struggling with losing weight and then somehow I just gain it back. Well, not somehow. I know how I gain all my weight back. The yo-yo diet doesn't work because I would usually gain weight during the holiday end of the year. Well, the holiday I tend to feel much nice, let myself go. I really love eating. As you can see from this graph, I have been trying my best to lose weight, but somehow I will get it all back. So before my weight usually around 160, 170, but after 2020 lockdown, I start gaining weight from just being lazy at home. And then I will gain the weight, then lose the weight, then gain the weight again, as you can see on the graph. And I want, really want to change this. I want to be consistent and sustainable with my effort and maintain the weight. So how can I improve my health this year? What's my plan to get in shape and lose fat for this year? I think most for most people, they already know what to do. Like I'm pretty sure you're watching this, you already know how to lose weight. You know how to be in shape. You know how to lose fat. The issue is life is hard sometimes and I know for myself I get stressed when I get stressed out I love to eat to relieve stress so I emotionally eat especially late at night or uh, when I go out with my friend everything kind of go out the window I would eat I would drink and have fun but that is not a good thing to do especially when you're on a journey to have a better lifestyle and improve your fitness and health because when you go out especially drinking and eating you don't really it's hard to count macro calories and all that and most time most of food and drinks are not that healthy for you so I have been more self-aware about that thanks to this book uh, Emotional Eating by Alan Carr. I totally recommend you to check this out. I have been reading this and going through many this book many times and it's really helpful. And I totally recommend you check this out if you're like me, an emotional eater, especially when you're stressed. Because of this book, I, I do catch myself sometimes when it's like, oh, I need to snack. Right now, I'm really stressed out. I want to get some chocolate. I want to maybe snack um, some uh, cookies, <laughs> chocolate cookies. Just think about it. It's kind of making me happy. But yeah, I do catch myself, especially late at night when I watch uh, YouTube, binge TV show or movies, Netflix. I catch myself and I was like, you know what? Let's drink some water, brush my teeth. Maybe uh, watch one show and then go to sleep. I don't need to sleep. Uh, I don't need to eat because I know that I'm not gonna feel good after I eat eat late at night, and it's not good for my body. So I do catch myself, which is a good thing. Now, this is my plan for the whole year. Do I document myself every week? Make sure that I follow my uh, nutrition goal. Work out every week. I've tried to. I will try to work out every single day, maybe around fifteen minutes ish. That's my goal for this year. Work out at least ten to fifteen minutes every day, 
and then maybe on the weekend I, when I have more time I will try to work out 20 to 30 minutes my goal for nutrition wise try to eat whole food avoid snacking and do intermittent fasting around 12 to 13 hours so usually I would do work 9 to 5 so by the time I get home work out a little bit and then eat dinner and then fast through the next lunch time so I will be around 13 to 16 hours I should be able to lose weight the hard part is being consistent about it and this is why I'm document, document myself make a video every week to check how my eating habit is and my lifestyle changes by the end of this year after 52 weeks I really want to see a big change in my physical health and what is your plan for this year? What's your health plan for this year? Please let me know down in the comment because I really want to know what's your plan for this year? How are you going to achieve it? What the mistake or what, your, what the issue that you are looking out for? By the end of this year, let's try our best to improve our health and let's hold ourselves accountable because I know I am. I really tired of being exhausted by the end of the day and I just, I just don't want to lose weight, gain weight. I tired, I'm really tired of this situation. I really want to be in shape. I want to go out and do more things. I just don't want to be tired by the end of the day. I, just, I really want to do more things. And so let's hold ourselves accountable. By the end of this year, we need to improve our health, do uh, have a long-term sustainability lifestyle where we could be in shape and still enjoy our life. Well, see you again next week.